feel like that's what's happening right now. No. Welcome to Blackberry Picking 2023. Wave everybody. We're about to comb the mountainside. Here we go. Okay, so here at Deep Polar Farm, we use uh, a couple of products that we that help us pick blackberries. I really don't know what you call these things, but we call them blackberry sleeves. You can find them on No, Duluth Trading Company. Duluth Trading Company. Okay. Yeah, this is actually our first time using them, so, yeah, so we'll be we... happy to share our reviews and our thoughts on these. And well, we and use... first off, why are we doing, why wear these? Uh, so the briars don't get to you, and they're not complete leather, so they won't stick to your gloves, or sleeves. Yes. And we've chosen not to wear gloves underneath them. Sometimes you do, but for me, it just, it's harder to pick blackberries and gloves that don't fit you. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Wyatt shows then, your gloves how they fit. Wyatt is almost five, and they cover his entire arm. <laughs> and then, and then we use popcorn. Let's buckets. see, let's see our snake boots. Oh, yeah. It's copperhead season. So these are Danners. Yeah, can't go wrong with the best. Yep, yep. we got a, all. Of, everybody in our family has them. We also everyone everyone say thank you, Grandma. Thank, thank you, Grandma. Grandma. Right. We've also we've also got some Carhartt uh, going on here because it's good thick. Except and for those good looking pranas. Yeah. And then <laughs> everyone shows their bucket. We and got a movie bucket. theater movie bucket. theater bucket. Graduation Shout out bucket. to Golden Ticket Cinemas and Lenore. Um. That's Hickory. And then Hickory. <laughs> and then. <laughs> And the then beach. Wyatt's awesome beach bucket. We're gonna fill them all up. The cat's hunting. So let's let's Killed talk. snake this morning. Let's talk really quickly about like how do you know what to pick and what to leave. Yep. Let us know. What, what do you think? Uh, what, well, can can we hear from Wyatt first? Wyatt, start. Wyatt, what do you know when we're picking blackberries? How do you know which ones to pick and which ones to leave? Tell uh, the camera. Don't pick the web. Don't hey, pick talk the to me. What'd you Don't say? Pick the red, only the black. Why? What's the red taste like? Sour. Yep. I tried one before. It's not good. <laughs> and what else? even one of the things we were talking about is even when you see one that looks black, if it doesn't if just. It doesn't come off easily it's probably sour and you don't want to pick that yeah leave it for a little bit longer it just needs to ripen so if it doesn't just like by touching it want to just fall into your hand so grammy says when it doesn't let go that means it's not ready to let go mm -hmm. yep come on all right i think we are ready to get going so we're going to let the kids do ones where if they're easy to reach so, so wyatt you'll want to do these that are right here Whatever you do, don't drop your bucket down the hill. Yes, why? Don't blackberries. drop your bucket down the hill. Mommy and Daddy will go deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy and Daddy will go deeper. I've gone a little deeper than the edge, and I've done fine. So I might go a little deeper than him. But everybody, but I'll make sure to stick everybody watch for snakes. Watch yes, for snakes. Oh, and we are so sprayed down with bug spray oh and essential gosh. oils yeah, and prayers that we will not get chiggers because <laughs> we get them bad. He yeah. never gets them. Ever. I got sour blood. Yeah. All, All right, right, let's get after it. Let's go. Yeah, the honey hole in here. Not many more days and all these will be ready. What you could do is, what we found is some of the easiest things are if there's a ton of them in one spot, you just kind of roll them off. And if they don't let go, you let them be. So let that one be. And then whatever you kind of, whatever pulls out of your hand or you lose, you lose grip on, uh, it can fall down in the bucket. This is my preferred method, the pluck and chew. <laughs> Delicious. That's all I got. Honey hole! Honey hole! They found a honey hole. I just came up with a really cool poem. Briars in my hair, briars everywhere. Briars in my face, briars every place. 
feel like that's what's happening right now. No. So, uh, I ended up here. And all this was mowed down at one point. Um, when we first moved here, we mowed it all down. Uh, but then I fell and ended up on this tree that we cleared. And, um, here I am at an awesome, awesome... Blackberry picking. Well, blackberry picking seat. And it's also right next to a honey hole. So it pretty, wor it pretty much works out. So I just wanted to show you guys that. They found my honey hole and have been stealing berries off of that. Say what? hi, Dad. That's my honey hole. Well, that's, you, you left them all on the, on the vine. Whatever. All right, fun fact. What sets apart the blackberry from the raspberry? Well, apparently the blackberry, the stem is supposed to stay with it, but the only stem that I've got in this bucket, which I don't know why that's even in there, is the red one. Most of my other ones don't have the stem, so I don't know. That's, that's the word on the street. Somebody asked me after we do all this if it's worth it. Anybody out there? Just remind me that. Just remind me that question. And then I'll let you know. Oh yeah, baby. That's a bucket. Shelby, let me see her. Show it off. Oh yeah. You guys aren't gonna catch up with me. Oh, I don't know about that. No way. No way. Y'all just y'all just focus on picking. Uh, in just a second, I've got too many up here. I don't want them falling. They could fall at any moment. I can't afford to leave this sugary, delicious bounty. Look at this little guy. On the ground. All right, as soon as I get out of here, I'll show you. Oh, low-hanging fruit. Let me see. Heads up, let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can see the shadow in the bottom. Keep it going, baby. Let me see yours. Not a lot. What do you mean, not a lot? That's let me see. Definitely a lot. Let me see. I'm going to let you see. I'm going to throw this non-ripe one at you. All right, keep it moving. Move it or lose it, sister. I am tied up in this thing. Wow. Ow! Wow. I don't know if it's worth it. Ugh. Yeah. I'm tearing my nice, one of my favorite shirts all up. What am I doing? I didn't know I was gonna be tearing it up. Ah, oh, here's one of our little, our little uh, ball pit balls. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Hey, my stem came off. Something y'all may not know about wild berries is <clears throat> when you pick them, you don't wash them. If if you're not going to use them all right up front, you don't wash them until you need to use them. So you'll put them in the freezer unwashed in freezer bags. You don't want to wash them before you freeze them. That is not good for the berry and it destroys them essentially. So just, uh, I learned that actually my wife taught me that, or excuse me, Otis taught my wife in that app. That's our neighbor. And, uh, that's how we do his blueberries, uh, behind his house. All right. How are we looking? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wyatt, wear those out. Get all those bud. You got it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, literally, I can feel it. It's in my skin, stabbing me. The, uh, the word blackberry bramble. What does bramble mean? Take a guess. Think about what we've just kind of fought through. Briars? Yes, but what was it hard to get through? 
I mean, were there places where you could not get through? Yes. So a bramble is another word for an impenetrable thicket. I just found that out. That is pretty, pretty crazy. I trapped some beautiful blackberries in here. Now I think now they're goners. Dang it. I see blackberries rolling down, Dad. Do you? Yeah, I saw one. And I dropped them, so maybe those were the delicious ones. And they were like perfect. It went like all the way behind the tree. Alright, there ain't no blackberries, but they're all red. Yeah, because right. I picked them. Wait. Mama? Oh, no. Sorry, I thought I saw more wild elderberry. So yeah, those, those down there are really, really young. Yeah. Alright, let's head back up. What do you think, Wyatt? Do we comb the hillside? Do we comb it? Almost. Hey, is Thanksgiving in the, in the coop? Can you hear him? There's our cat. The great red and white hunter. Come on, come on. Dada? Yeah. Oh, look at all these. I just, these, when these go black, holy moly. I bet we have three more buckets right there in that, just that one little honey hole. All right, eagle eye. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you find. See any? Yeah, it's got a little red on it. What? Look at these under here. Well, they're kind of shrivelly wibbly. I don't really want shrivelly wibbly. What you think? What you think? Spider web, Dada. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. Keep moving down. I'll reach through and get those up there in a second. Look at all those back there. Oh, they're, oh, look, they're clearing. There's a trail behind there. Let's get, we'll walk behind after this. Oh, Wyatt, look at this, dog. A lot of them, though, aren't wanting to just easily let right, go. See if you can work on those. I'll work Wyatt, a little bit further back here. Don't just come off easy. Don't take them, okay? We'll save them for our next time. I'll roll them right off. So don't pick the red. Well, don't pick the red. Even the black ones that don't want to come off easy. It just kind of hangs on even when you roll it Got around. Got my cuticle. Oh. oh, I know. I just popped my way out of that one. I'm bleeding from my love handles. All right, you got my bucket? Golly, look at that guy. Ah! Strong like bull. Thanks, White. What you seeing, Mama? Not many. I don't think this area catches as much direct sunlight. So, Who did we lose? Huh? We lose anybody? We lost our children. Lost the kids. Wait, what? They probably had a third of a bucket between them. Yeah, it's looking... Let me see. Let me check the temperature. Just It's 83 degrees 83. at 11 in the morning. And that contributed to the demise of our team. And morale. <laughs> What did we learn today? A uh, blackberry puff. They're delicious. They're delicious. delicious. Kind of already knew that, but. What else did we learn? It's hot outside in the summer. What's a bramble stand for? Blackberry. Impenetrable. Yeah. Impenetrable. 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 Thicket. All right. Well, we appreciate y'all watching. It looks like we're about to hit the uh, the neighbor's pool. I say neighbor as in across town. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all later. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.